from FaithfulLamb.com. Today's blog is dated September 6, 2022, and is titled, Give. Then I will set the key of the house of David on his shoulder. When he opens, no one will shut. When he shuts, no one will open. Isaiah 22, verse 22. Yesterday, Labor Day, I was looking at Rumble.com, and I noticed that my Rumbles, which are the same as likes and dislikes on other social media platforms, my Rumbles were exactly 2222, 2222. I thought it was interesting and showed my husband and thought no more of it. Then we went out to eat and to Walmart. Our grocery bill was exactly $222 and change. Now it's starting to get my attention. When we got in the car, I told my husband half-jokingly that we should play the lottery with 222 and 2222. Yes, I am not perfect, and my mind and thoughts still jump to worldly things. Forgive me, Lord. This is why it is so important to have God's word hidden in your heart so you do not sin against him. Psalm 119, verse 11. Later, after we got home, I was checking my email, and there was an email from a prophet that I haven't seen in quite some time, so I read the email, and God told me, and God told him to help people move to a new level in their lives in in God by sowing seeds into the prophet's training center. By now, you can probably guess how much of a donation he was asking for. Drum roll, please. $222. You cannot make this stuff up. Now, just a week or two before, God had told me to donate $100, and I was still trying to accomplish that. I had tried at a couple of sites that oddly would not go through, and then this happened with 222. So let's all strive to be like Jesus. Love your neighbor as yourself, as Jesus loved, with unselfish concern. Do unto others as you would have done unto you. And most importantly, give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over. Luke 6, verse 30. As I was finishing up this blog and looking for an image to put at the top, I wondered what, if any, significance there was to the numbers 2222 and or 222. Following is an excerpt from BibleStudy.org. This website says, among other things, that, quote, the overall meaning of multiple number twos, for example, 222 or 2222 or chapter 2, verse 22, and so on, is somewhat unclear in Scripture. They are related, however, to not only the creation of Eve in the first marriage, but also to Jesus' return to earth. They additionally reveal how rewards will be distributed upon entering the kingdom of heaven and how we must deal with temptation. The website goes on to say further, quote, multiple number twos, quote, one of Jesus' greatest yet often misunderstood use of symbolism is found in Matthew 18. He warns in verses 8 and 9 of the chapter that it is better to lose a hand, foot, or eye than to have two hands, two feet, or two eyes, two, 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 condemn us. Since sin is generated out of thoughts and choices, Matthew 15, verses 18 and 19, the Lord is not condoning self-mutilation as a way of dealing with sin, but rather admonishing us to decisively deal with the temptations that lead to it. Jesus, in Matthew 25's parable of the talents, uses 222 in verse 22 to teach an important lesson about those who enter God's kingdom. And the one who had received two talents also came to him and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. See, I have gained two other talents besides them. Matthew 25, verse 22. The man who received two talents doubled his master's money, just like the person who got five talents, Matthew 25, verse 16. The Lord rewarded both men equally, showing that he judges and rewards fairly based on what a person does with what he is given. Lastly, Jesus uses the example of two men in bed, two women grinding, and two men in a field, two, 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 to warn warn that many people will be arrested and killed prior to his return to earth, Luke 17, verses 34 through 36. I have a feeling that this word from God is not yet finished, but I was so excited about how he works in our lives, I could not wait to share it. This is in line with God's words to me, the millennial reign, 70 years, and others. 
God truly works in mysterious ways. How does he work in your life? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you go to my website and to this blog, you can see screenshots of the different two two twos that occurred to me when I wrote this blog. Thank you. Have a great day.